Hi peeps, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Okay, uh, I was asked after my series of smoothies videos I did where my hair was up on top of my head, so many people wanted to know how I achieved that look. It is so simple. It is actually how I wear my hair when I'm cleaning. Uh, I've just always thrown it up. And matter of fact, in our family, all of us do it. All of my sisters, we all have long hair and all of us do it. And the actual hairstyle goes by our maiden last name. It's the do. We call it the do. And uh, I also achieved, well, I also inherited a nickname that my girlfriend's uh, children gave us gave me and uh, we, Lou and I had traveled to Defusky Island. They were staying at Defusky Island. We decided to take a vacation. So we, um, we rented a place nearby them and I was sitting out at the pool and I had my do on and her kids, three of them, were laughing because they said I looked like a squirrel. So they call me Squirrel. My nickname is Squirrel. I have other, Crazy Miss Tammy came from another friend's kids. But uh, yeah, so it is known as the squirrel do, or in my family, our maiden name do. So now I'm going to help you create it and make it your do. It is very easy. All you need is a hair tie. You can use the scrunchie, you can use fancy, you can use whatever you want. Your hair can be dirty, your hair can be straight, it can be uh, curly. You can achieve different looks by leaving it, uh, by having it curly. It gets a softer look to it. Um, if you have naturally frizzy hair like I have, it doesn't really look good with my natural hair. It looks like, I look like an old hag with it then. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First, I'm going to just pull all my hair back and kind of toss it. Okay, I'm not going to try to get it to do go in any shape or anything like that. I'm just getting it so it just has a little bit of a messiness to it. Okay, so now that's how my hair looks. I am going to lean my head back and I'm going to get all the hairs from the back and I'm just going to pull it up. Okay, so I pulled it up. I have the ponytail. Well, I want to straighten this a little bit. If you have any kind of big lump things on the side, you want to straighten them, but don't worry about the front. Okay, so I'm putting my hair up, and I'm not bringing it up here on top of my head. It's in an actual very high ponytail, okay? So I'm going to take it like that. I'm going to pull my hair through. I'm going to twist the rubber band, and I'm going to pull my hair through again. Now I'm going to twist it one more time, and this time, I am only going to pull it halfway through so it looks like this, okay? Then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to pull it. And that is it. And you can play with the back so that you can kind of see when it's curled, it all blends in the back. When it's straight, it just hangs straight. But then you just take the front pieces and you pull them out. And that is it. Now, if you want it to stand up higher, you can take spray and spray as you're pulling it up, and it'll stand up. If you want to, if you wanted to pull a piece of it out and have like you know sexy little thingies that fall down, you can just pull tiny little pieces out, and you'll have these little pieces that are hanging out. And that is it, peeps. That is how easy it is. If you are doing this and you need it to be a little fancier. All you would do is keep a piece of hair out or pull a piece of out hair from underneath and like this, this piece here, I'll pull this out, okay? Then I'm going to take it and I'll just wrap it around that rubber band. And I would just put a little bobby pin and then there you go. And you have little pieces that fall down. You can bring pieces out on the side to make yourself look sassy, sassy. But that's it, peeps. That's how easy it is. It's just a matter of, you know, and then, like I said, all you do is you'll, you can take it, hold it up, spray, and it'll just stand up higher for you, but that is my do. Okay? I hope this helped you. I'll show you what it looks like from behind. It's just, I hope I'm in the camera, but that's what it looks like from behind. Okay? That's a side view, and that's the front view. Oh, I'm kind of chopping my head. Okay? So you can see. Okay, so that is it. I'll do it, I'll do it quickly, one more time, just so you all have it. 
okay? Because it really is so easy. Okay, so you get your hair tie out. One more time, scrunch. Okay, pull all the hair up. Leave it loose, just make sure the sides are a little bit smooth. Okay, leave it loose. Take your hair, one time, twist, two times, twist, three times, you don't come all the way through, you pull it up, and then you just go like that. And that's it, peeps. Okay, so I hope that this has been useful and you learned how to do the squirrel or crazy Miss Tammy do. Okay, we'll leave all your comments below. I know a lot of you are going to be trying this because so many of you asked me uh, about it. So I'm sure, let me zoom in and see how this, I'm, I'm learning how to use my bathroom in all this. Okay, so I'm sure that all of you uh, that wanted to know are going to say, oh my goodness, how easy is that? And the more you pull this part, if you pull it up, you're going to lift the bun so it's, whoop, let me back up again so you can see it now. The more you pull this part out and forward as you're pulling, it, it'll make that part stand up on your head more. Okay, it's really cute. I mean, you can wear this with sweats. You can wear this dressed up. If I wanted, I would wear this dressed up. I would wrap a hair around the band. I would let some little ringlets fall down because it's very, it's actually, it's kind of sexy, okay? And it always looks dynamite when you pair it off with some really great earrings. Okay, peeps, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. It's an anti-ager. Be well, be healthy, be beautiful. Be soon.